Hi, this is Dan Martin. Today I'm going to talk about swinging your swing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so now. I'm always putting up a new video every Monday. So what do I mean by swinging your swing? Well, everybody has hit great shots from time to time. Whether you're a newer player or you've been playing all your life, you have a great swing in you. You have one that's functional and one that works. But one thing we don't do is we don't explore really what is our swing. So I've got a simple exercise that's very non-technical, very feel here, that you can do next time you're out in a practice, out in the practice range. You can even do this at home if you want to. But I want you to spend two minutes just making practice swings until you start to feel something that feels like your swing. So just going back and make swings that feel good. And it may be a little awkward at first, but see if you can kind of start to find what you really like as your swing. There, that one started to feel more like my swing right there. And I want to start to pay attention. What is it that I like about my swing as I keep doing it over and over again? So after you've gone for about two minutes, you're going to start to kind of find a groove in there of what feels like a nice rhythm. Um, you're going to probably feel some balance, maybe a little less tension in certain parts of your body, maybe a little bit more in other parts of your body. But I want to take some notes and I want to write down some characteristics that I notice. So like for myself, I feel like a little extra pause at the top is something that I notice when I'm swinging really well. I feel like my arm stays very stretched or my arms feel like they have a stretching sensation. And those are things that I can actually go that are very feel oriented and start to duplicate. So to, to learn and to know your golf swing isn't to tell yourself how to do it. It's actually to have this overall sensory picture, image and feel that works. So once I've kind of described that, I've got that for myself, can you just spend five minutes now getting your swing feel? So I'm going to take practice swings again until I get it. If I get it on the first one, then I'm just going to get right back up to the next golf ball. I'm going to see if I can duplicate my practice swing. And what I want to do is I want to notice, like I noticed very rapidly on that shot, that, hey, I was a little bit rushed. That didn't quite have the same sensation. But I'm going to keep this really constant exploration of going, okay, I know what my swing feel is. Okay, that was really good. And then I'm just going to see if I can be really present to duplicating that swing feel. Closer. And I'm just going to keep at that for a while until I kind of find my groove. And I think this is a really good way to, to, to practice, especially prior to play or maybe you've got a tournament coming up. Let's get rid of some of the technical stuff so we're not thinking so much and really start to get into what does my swing feel like when it's good. And if I can tap into the feel that I have that I know I can repeat, I can hit shots that are good enough on the golf course. And that's what it takes to get it done. 